Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We're talking about Red Team Charge today and there's really nothing better to be talking about. This is one of the most hyped sets ever. Um, I mean, the hype is currently building. It's not like the most hyped at this point. I would say probably one of the most hyped releases ever was the Lights of Sanghelios and certainly the Falcon Sweep that has been crazy. But this one, it's got to be one of the best sets ever made, right? Like literally, it's insane. Red Team Charge is coming out this fall and Mega just updated their website with loads of new information. I screen grabbed a few things from the instruction manual and this is going to be a short video of me talking. As of the time of release of this video, I'm on holiday in Croatia. So I thought I'd just put out a few of these impression videos. You can check out my previous ones on Halo Hero 16 and the Dose of Requiem. After this one, we're going to have the Scorpion Clash and we're just going to talk a little bit quickly about my first impressions of this set. Um, and then I'm gonna roll all the images that I found. First of all, new packaging. We're gonna talk about the new packaging. It's amazing. I, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I went into my Ghost of Requiem uh, tidbits and thoughts video a little differently. I was a little on the fence about the packaging, but the more I look at it, I just think it's so dope, man. Like the purple pops, it's way more stylized and simplistic and I think it will stand out on store shelves. I don't know if everyone will like purple, I particularly do. It's purple, blues and grays. And then the actual set, it, it just it just pops out more versus being on some rocks or some forests or in a jungle, you know, realistic backdrops. This makes it stand out on store shelves, which let's be honest, most people, I would say like 95, 96, 97% of people throw away the packaging. Really all the packaging is there to do is sell the toy. We want more toys sold, so Mega expands and we get more products, right? So I think it's in our best interest. I also really love the fact that Douglas, Jerome, and Alice are all like sort of individual profiles on the packaging. I do love that. The Warthog is just really, just kind of exploding out, which, uh, which I do like. I love to see that all three of the characters have different emblems on their shoulders. That's really excellent. And Jerome has that great stripe. And Mega have confirmed, remember, there's no numbers on these figures because they're the Halo Wars 1 appearance. The other red team members we've got are Halo Wars 2 appearances, hence the numbers on their chest. These are Halo Wars 1, so they don't have numbers on their chest, which is a mistake we all made when uh, this was first un uh, unveiled, unveiled, revealed? revealed to the world. We also have a great build a bigger universe promotional material showing the Falcon Sweep and the Arbiter's Quest. I love it. I love the integration. I, I think it's fantastic. And another one with the elephant as well. And the alt build for this is obviously phenomenal. We can see the two warthogs side by side. They're pretty much identical apart from the Gauss hog versus uh, chain gun and the flames versus green. I love it. I absolutely love it. The Warthog is going to be one of the most iconic ones ever made. Uh, green Warthogs, I always say, if you want to invest in something, Green Warthogs and Pelicans are pretty much a solid investment. This Warthog will never go down in value. All three members of Red Team, uh, I'm going to stockpile these for the future. I'm going to put them in a bunker. I'm going <laughs> to dig a hole, put them in a crate, and dig them up in 20 years' time, make my millions, and buy my family a house. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. So, uh, shout out to you all. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Check out my other opinions on Ghost of Requiem and Series 16 of Halo Heroes. And next time, we're going to talk about Scorpion Clash. I'm going to roll on with all these images that I've found from across the internet. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe. The Domain is signing off. Huge shout out to my patrons. These are my Billy Gang members and you guys are supporting me so much right now. We also have our first Honor Guard member. Congratulations, welcome to the squad. And the biggest shout out to Spartan Dagger, Chunky Chief and Patches OJO. They're my Arbiter patrons and your names are going down in history. You truly are helping me out so much, guys. See you next time, Spartans.